Hey guys, today we are going to begin coding. We're going to start with a little refresher and our goal today is to be a three and to be able to independently use code to create an algorithm to solve a problem, complete a task, or complete an assignment. To be a four, you would be able to teach someone else how to create an algorithm or using a variety of resources. Let's go to Angel. We'll find our hour of code symbol and we are going to look for Mrs. Hinkle with the really cool glasses. When you click on that, you're going to see a list of all the fifth graders. And you are going to use the card that I handed out to you. You'll see a direct link that you can use at home. The section name is fifth grade, which we already clicked on, and then the name. You're going to look for whatever is listed first. For some odd reason, a couple of these have numbers. Some of you start with your first name, some of you start with your last name. So whatever is listed here is what you're going to look for. So if your last name is listed first, you're going to have to look for your last name. Click on the name, and then it asks you for your picture code. This one is a princess. And I sign in. Now, if I was working in groups of two, I would click on this, but I don't think anybody's doing that today. So I'm going to just press the orange sign in button. And we are actually going to skip ahead and start on lesson three. Click on lesson three, and there's going to be a video. I want you to watch the video because it helps you build a foundation of knowledge. Click on the orange finished when you're done with the video and it'll take you on to the lesson. In the lesson, in this lesson, what do you think of when you think about bugs? When most people think about bugs, they think about creepy crawly things. In computer science, bugs aren't alive, but they can still be tricky. The puzzles in the lesson have already been solved for you, but not so fast. They don't seem to be working yet. Are the bugs behind all of this? Press the orange continue. Watch this movie, this video on debugging, and when you're, when you're done, press continue. You do not want to skip these videos, guys. Take the time to watch them. And then the directions are at the top. You can press play to listen to them. This code isn't quite right. Fix the code to help Scrat get to the acorn. Okay. One, two is what it says. He needs to move forward one more. Or I could have used the repeat block. Okay, so I'm done. Press continue to go to the next one. Use your debugging skills to get Scrat to the acorn. Okay, so if I run this, he's not going to make it. He's going to move forward and then turn. That's not correct. He goes into the water. So what I do is I drag this down to unclip it, move what I want in there, and then drag it back up. Now if there's something I want to delete, all I have to do is drag it over here, and a trash can appears. But this is the correct one. When you have completed this lesson, you can move on to lesson five.